Hello everyone, welcome to Design Hub. In Design Hub, we provide quality technical content related to the design industry using practical concepts. So, to upgrade yourself please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. In this video, you will learn about the internal elements of a pressure vessel. In general, a container has an internal structure that helps to effectively handle the passing fluid. Now, let us see about the internals of a pressure vessel. Internal elements of the pressure vessel are Tray supports Vortex breaker Baffle plate and Impingement plate Now, let us see about tray support. Tray supports The function of the tray is to facilitate contact between the gas and liquid phases and allow mass transfer between the two phases. The distillation column is an important piece in the refining of crude oil. It separates crude oil into various chemical components based on the difference in volatility. Now, let us see the types of tray support. There are five major types of tray columns. First is the bubble cap tray. The second is the sieve deck tray. The third is the dual flow tray. Fourth is the valve tray. And the last one is the baffle tray. Further, let us see the tray support design. The design load of tray support is equal to the weight of the tray and the weight of the fluid. You can see in the figure how loads work. The maximum live load is 98 kilograms per meter square for 50 millimeters of liquid above the tray. Whereas, the maintenance load is 135 grams on any point of the tray assembly. Now, let us see the internal element design. The internals of the pressure vessel depends on the purpose of the vessel, the amount and configuration of the internals will vary accordingly. As, these internals helps in providing effective separation and low retention time. You know what is retention time? Retention time can be defined as the amount of time the liquid stays in the container. The retention time ensures that the liquid gas equilibrium is reached at the separation pressure. The retention time in the separator is determined by dividing the volume of liquid in the container by the flow rate of the liquid. Now, we will see how these internals are supported in the vessel. Internals of pressure vessel are supported with the help of various supports like Beam support Clip, and The support ring. As you can see in the figure, there is beam support holding the tray in place. And the, beam is supported by the clips. Also, there is a support ring holding the tray in place. If you have any doubts, write it in the comment section, and we will help you solve it. Okay. That is all for this video. In the next video, we will cover the external elements for the pressure vessel. Thank you for watching this video. We will see in the next one. Until then learn and grow.